Welcome back to the Bomb TV YouTube page. Today we're going to take a look at downloading Boom. That's a premium video on demand service. First thing we want to do is click on Grenade. That's the application we use to download Bomb TV. We'll scroll down, click on Premium Video on Demand. Here's a description of Boom, which we will click Download. I'm going to speed up this download. There's a few things in the video I'll speed up. If the video gets ahead of where you're at, just uh, pause the video until you're caught up. Um, some of these things, like the download, takes a little while. Once the program is installed, it opens very quickly, but the initial install is a little bit long. Uh, once that's installed, we'll click Install, and we'll have the little robot, Android robot, pop up here. We will click Open on that, or you can click your menu button to launch. Uh, boom. We will click Allow. And now you'll enter your unique username and password. Um, make sure that you understand this is case sensitive. So if you see, uh, there should be an email with this information in it. Um, if it's a capital letter, make sure it's capitalized. If it's a lowercase, make sure it's lowercase. Um, I just always recommend on all these installations that once you've typed the whole thing in, read it back on your email and look at the screen and make sure you've done that. Like I usually triple check. Because now we click login, that should be the only time you need that information. Uh, don't delete that email just in case you ever do need it again, but you shouldn't have to log in again. Um, for the content in Boom, as you can see here, if we click on the menu, you have TV shows, you have movies, you can add favorites as well, just like you could on Bomb TV. I want to go take a look at the settings. Um, there's a couple things here. We'll go to general settings, uh, the default player is what we're going to pick. Uh, I went and put VLC just like we did on Bomb TV. if you followed the tips and tricks video for that. I'm sure there's other players that you could download if you're into that sort of thing and potentially they give you some kind of different option than VLC. To me VLC is just kind of optimized for your fire stick so that's why I chose that. There's also probably some ways in here that you can adjust uh, the size like depending on your television screen Personally, I wouldn't mess with a lot of that, um, but if you want to, this is the place to look. I'm also going to scroll down here to clear cache. That is one thing that I want to direct everybody's attention to. If your application is moving kind of slow, or maybe your video is cutting out, any kind of issues, the first thing I would do is clear cache. Um, you want to kind of routinely do that just in general for any kind of application. Um, so that's, I think, everything I have for the settings. I'm going to get back out of that. I do want to scroll down here to subtitles. So of course here you can enable those. You can adjust the font size if you need a little bit bigger. So yeah, that's everything for settings. Um, we'll take a look at the content here. You can click down. Currently the default is what's popular. There's all kinds of different categories just like you'd have on any other application. Your traditional comedy, drama, those kind of things. Trending, what's out now. You can do the same thing on movies. Um, also, now that we're here at movies, I want to use the search feature. Um, so, of course, you can always just browse, see what's going on. But if there's something specific you want to see, um, if it's available, you can go here to search. So we're going to look up one of my favorite movies, Tombstone. And the one thing I want to make sure you're aware of here, this is a little bit different than some search features and other applications. As you can see in the background there, there's a drop down that has my movie. In order to get to that, I'm going to hit back. I'll click on it again, and then now I can click on what populated for Tombstone, which is what I wanted. Now, here in the top left corner is the exact movie I was looking for. As you can see, there's about a dozen other Tombstone movies or Wyatt Earp movies uh, that I don't even know if I knew existed. But that just gives you an idea of the breadth of content. I'm going to go ahead and click on my movie. And what will happen here, this is a torrent site. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you don't want me to explain it to you. <laughs> um, but basically, there's different options you have to view. You can see that there's different levels of quality, 1080p usually being the best. Um, on an older movie like this one, usually the top option is going to work. I have noticed as I've played around with the application, if it's a brand new movie that's either still in theaters or barely released the DVD, some of these files may not be the correct movie or something, so you may have to kind of 
sift through a little bit. But again, if, if the movie's been out for a while or if it's an old movie, usually any of these is going to work. Um, they're pretty established uh, formats. I guess sometimes you have 4K. Um, I don't know if I believe the tombstone is in 4K, but I mean, that's what I would click on, I suppose. That's really about all I have for Boom. Um, I showed you the search feature. It works the same if you're looking at TVs and series. Um, this is a bit more straightforward than Bomb TV because there's not it's not live television. Um, it, this kind of format for searching for video on demand is pretty familiar to most people. Um, so thanks again for watching and enjoy all the premium video on demand that Boom has to offer.